Hello children. Today I'm going to tell you a story. We began in Pennsylvania on September the 2nd, 1766. A little boy named Fortin was born. James Fortin. He was the grandson of a slave and his father died when he was only seven. He left his school founded by the Quaker Anthony Benezet when he was only nine to help his mother. Anthony Benezet was actually a teacher at Penn Charter. Small world, huh? After his time at Penn Charter, Benezet founded a girls' school and then a school for African Americans, which is where our buddy James attended. Now, back to the story. James Fortin was a real patriot. In 1780, when he was just 14, he joined the Colonial Navy. During his Navy years, he was captured by the British ship Amphion. He was very lucky that he was not sold into slavery or enlisted into the British Navy. Instead, he was taken to a prison ship in the New York Harbor and stayed there until prisoners were exchanged with the colonists. Then, during the War of 1812, he helped organize over 2,000 African Americans to defend his country. When he returned to Philadelphia, he married, had eight children, and became the owner of a sail loft, where he sold his ship supplies. He became very wealthy from his business, and by 1832, he was worth over $100,000, which today is estimated to be over two million. James was a good man. He saved people who were drowning near his shop seven times. He's also a major civil rights advocate. He opposed the American Colonization Society, which proposed sending freed slaves back to Africa. He also refused to sell supplies to ship owners who had slave crews. Thank you very much for listening, and have a good night. Don't do it. Did you turn it off? No. What'd you do? What'd you press? Why? Fini, it's already been recorded. Yeah, but it, that's not what you're supposed to.